All right, for the next segment on what you can do at home. All right, so this is another one of the big problems we have to manage is long range shooters. All right, we're talking about extreme spread. So if you actually take your ammo out and you shoot 10, 15, 20 rounds to a chronograph, you're gonna see your standard deviation, your extreme spread. So this is something that's pretty normal in military ammo, we get 45 feet per second extreme spread. So something that you can do and look and see exactly when you're actually going to be able to predict that you can actually hit the target. All right, so this is going to show you when you may not have a good hit probability. If you plug in your normal velocity of 2550 and then plug in 2595 and then basically just run your range card out every hundred. 100 meters out so 200 300 400 all the way out take your holes so 200 may be uh something like 200 may be something like 0.6 all right and this may be 0.56 all right so it's only 0 0.04 there it's something that we don't have to manage it's inside the noise of the weapon system but by the time we get out to 700 meters you're going to be 0.4 mils off that's a minute and a third so we're already looking at something close to eight nine inches as far as your fast bullet to your slow bullet unfortunately when you pick up your ammo we don't know if it's your fast one or slow one when you grab one out of the box so this is something that if it's a no fail shot you have to be able to be close enough to get a hit on it this will tell you what you're capable of with your ammo but knowing what your expectation should be based on your extreme spread is huge for knowledge so once we get out to 700 like i said we're already over a minute of angle now what i mean by this you're shooting a half minute group with every time you go out at 100 so your gun's a half minute your ammo's a half minute but due to extreme spread later as we get farther out you're not going to see that same half minute of angle capability about 400 meters you're going to start losing half minute of angle capability if you got 45 feet per second extreme spread and then as we go farther out at say a thousand now we're 0.7 now that's two and a third minutes of angle so basically we're looking at something over 20 inches for group size you know 22 23 inches right now and that's the best that we can hope for we're not talking standard deviation so your standard deviation may be a group that's this side your extreme spread may be here so 90 percent of your shots may be inside of this but we can always expect these flyers here and this is also something at range we don't want to correct for so if I'm hitting here and here and here and here that's awesome I hit here I don't tell him to come up just ignore the shot when you're shooting for distance but when you're shooting maybe inside of 600 we always would want to correct the center but understanding extreme spread is something that basically every shooter should understand and know for ballistics for his weapon system and his ammo so with the spread the shooter may expect to see an impact somewhere inside of this because you're inside of 600 and your extreme spreads not blowing you off your minute of angle capability or if you're shooting out to distance you have to understand that maybe your extreme spread your low round to your high round may miss the target so this tells you how close you may need to be to expect 100 percent hit probability uh, or if you get a wild flyer at distance, when not to correct for it.